Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader and I do weekly, monthly themed readings as well. So this will be a weekly segment for the dates above in the title. Just a three card spread, quite general. Hopefully there is something here that resonates with your situation or that is helpful for you for the upcoming week. Um, nonetheless, I would definitely like to thank you, um, sending you all my love for joining the channel, supporting the channel, liking, subscribing. It does mean a lot to me. So if you enjoy this video, please feel free to leave behind a like or subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, otherwise, if you are after private readings with me, all the information that you require is listed below this video, such as list of prices, services, etc. Uh, let's get straight into it and see what's potentially coming up for the sign of Scorpio for the upcoming week. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's coming up for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Okay, Knight of Cups, the Hanged Man. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, quite a tricky situation that may lie ahead for you here, Scorpio. But look, let's look at the first card here, the Knight of Cups. Now, this could be you, Scorpio. You do represent the cups. Or this could be a fellow water sign around you. So a fellow Scor uh, Scorpio or one of your sister signs, which would be a Cancer or a Pisces. This person is coming in and offering you something quite meaningful here. Now, I love to trust the Knight of Cups because I feel he's a very honest person. So whether this person is male or female, I feel like they're coming forward here and it's almost like a ride or die energy. This person, no matter how complicated, how steep things get, no matter how many rivers they'll need to cross through barren lands and, you know, this harsh environment, they're still here. They're still presenting their cup. They're still willing to put in the work. They're still the same as what they were. They they haven't changed. Um, you know, they've encountered so much and they're very true to themselves. So I feel like this is a very, um, it's a person with a lot of integrity. They've got a lot of dignity. They're quite life learned. This person might be making you a genuine offer here. Now, offer of emotion can come in many forms, Scorpio. It could come through new friendships, you might be meeting a water sign that's offering you a friendship. You might be meeting someone that's offering you love here, okay? Offering you um, something quite major, okay? Something that could fulfill you emotionally, which is very nice to see. It could be an offer of work here as well, but I'm seeing something to do with timing. The timing is off, uh, Scorpio. Now, you might be wanting to make someone an offer here, and it might be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Now, the hangman is here. It could be a sun sign. You know, if we really want to read into it, it can look like a bit of a halo or a sun. So it could be, a, sorry, a, a sun sign like a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. I feel like the timing is off, okay? Something is really imbalanced right now. I don't know if it's for you or for this other person, but the hangman shows that things are introverted here. Okay, there's too much going on. Um, the situation is imbalanced. Someone's emotions are imbalanced. The timing isn't quite right. Okay, um, not rushing into things is the message with the Knight of Swords here. Um, rushing things will make it quite a precarious situation uh, is actually what I'm seeing with the hangman here. Now, this can point to you not being in the right mind space to make a decision here. I also feel like things are getting more complex emotionally, okay? I feel like this might this could be quite an emotionally fueled week for you. I'm not sure if it's to do with anything that I mentioned in the monthlies, which was a bit of imbalanced behavior or something coming um, to the surface here that you weren't really expecting, Um or you might be left hanging, you know, it's something to do with being left hanging or being left in suspension. Um, or you waiting in suspense or someone else waiting for your offer in suspense. But I feel like um, the timing is off. There's some. There's a disconnection with timing for some of you. Or it could be that because you're so introverted, you need to spend time on getting yourself back on track. Because the Knight of Cups is extremely focused Uh you know, sees his vision and, and presses forward no matter what the future looks like. Um, so it's not to say the future looks bleak because I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go that far, but I am seeing that relationships, things in the workplace could see some complications. And what I love about this though is that if you're coming up as the Knight of Cups, this shows that you'll be extremely steadfast. 
that you will be able to still be inspired um, and still be, you know, on your game despite what happens here. Still be on point because I feel like with the hangman, what is the symbolism of the hangman? Okay, the hang hangman did something that was frowned upon or got himself involved in a situation which he now has to suffer the punishment for. But I almost feel like this halo is a symbol of him being martyred. So it's him possibly going to the to his demise, but he'll be honored and respected, you know? So I feel like there's an element of someone will respect you for sticking it out with them, or you might respect them for sticking it out with you. As I said, things will get more complicated here. Things might get more complex um, because I do see two knights coming together and, you know, when I think of these two knights and I think of the beautiful medieval age, it's the knights that would challenge each other. You know, they, they were quite prestigious, but they would challenge each other in like, um, you know, tilting at the ring and, um, you know, lancing and, and things like that. Um, and I feel like, you know, they're ready to go at it. They're ready to challenge each other head on. Okay, they're facing each other face to face, but what's in the middle is this hangman. So there's something there's something about timing. The timing is what prevents them from uniting somehow or making contact, direct contact, indirect contact. The timing is off in some capacity here. Um, one might be more eager than the other, or one might show more eagerness than the other. The Knight of Cups is honest and follows his emotions absolutely, but outwardly he might he might seem more cool, calm, and collected. So this might be you, Scorpio. But there might be someone else, possibly under an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, um, or someone under any sign that is really burning up the communication. So they're being very forward. Um, they're saying things, anything that comes to mind. They could be very adamant to hear a response from you or get an offer from you. They're charging ahead. They're charging forward. But I'm seeing something to do with timing will prevent the two of you from connecting. It's also a message not to rush things. The Knight of Swords lacks rationale, lacks logic, because he's so immersed in the now, in the present, which sometimes is a good thing. But I think for the most part, if he's charging towards the hangman, then I'm not so sure he'll see much results. So this might be someone trying to get your attention or trying to get you to respond to them. But I, I think it's to no avail because I don't see you responding. Or if you will, it'll happen very slowly. There's still a river you have to cross. There's still challenges you're faced with ahead or possibly even setbacks in timing. Um, and this is why I don't think that this person will receive what they're wanting to receive. Now, it could be you as well, Scorpio. This could be reversed and you might be very, um, you might be seeking validation. You might be rushing something here. Or you want to hear, you know, someone say certain words to you. Or you want to find out why someone's being introverted, why they've been imbalanced, why they haven't contacted you in a while. You know, you're seeking knowledge here because the Knight of Swords, that's what he does. He's He seeks knowledge. He's inquisitive. He needs that validation. He needs the mental epiphanies. And he's charging ahead. Nothing will stop him. You might be in a phase this week where you feel like, you're so fixated on something, you don't see or hear anything else. It's all you can think about, it's all you can concentrate on, and all the attention is being diverted to this person, to this project, to this issue, to this dilemma, to these words, to that conversation. And I feel like for the most part, it's it might even drive you crazy here, Scorpio, because you're just spending too much on it where it, to a point where you'll feel somewhat imbalanced here. Um, but again, as I said, if this is not you directly, Scorpio, it could definitely be someone that is around you and is feeling that way. Um, but there could be something to do with deadlines here, okay? You might feel like you need to achieve something or a deadline or the result that you want will not be achieved. The outcome that you've desired will not come to fruition because something to do with timing, okay? Timing could be of the essence. Time might be of the essence for you in some regard here during the, time, uh, the upcoming week. So I will leave it at that though, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it.